Welcome to The Bliz Show, brought to you by New Waves Production. I'm Tom Terhar, and I'll be with you all season long. We'll sit down with a different member of the St. Cloud Blizzard, talk about games from the previous week, the games upcoming, a little bit about their personal life, and their hometowns. Uh, today with me is Brock Draker. Brock, thanks for coming on with me. Thanks for having me. Yeah, it's it's uh, fun to have you on here, especially after uh, last weekend. Obviously, we'll talk about a little bit about your scrum there up in yes. Cloquet. Um, Brock Draker, alternate captain, and last week was the NHL Central Star of the Week honorable mention. Uh, Brock, we'll start off with this. You... <laughs> you are, we talked about a little bit before this, you are in line to be the all-time games played leader in Blizzard history. What does that, what does that sound like to you on the surface? Sounds crazy. I mean, I've never really thought of it. Uh, I guess I'll have three full years under my belt by the end of the season, but I've never really thought of being that high of playing games either, you know, mm -hmm. especially my first year when I was sitting out and I was like, uh-oh, how's it going to go? Yeah, but, right. Yeah. Here we are. Yeah, here we are. 111 games in already for the for the 99 of Brock Drager. Um, do you we'll sort of get to the personal stuff now? Do you come from a hockey family? Is your hockey a pretty hockey oriented family? Uh, besides me and my brother, no, not okay. at all. Big football, wrestling type family. Okay, really? Yeah. yeah. Did, did you play? Did you do football and wrestling then as well? Yes, I played football up until seventh grade. Okay. And then I had to quit for hockey reasons. Yep. But uh, yeah, me and my brother started out wrestling in the winter, and we just didn't really like it that much. Mm -hmm. And my cousins played hockey a little bit, so we took over. You know, switched onto the skates and. Never looked back. So your dad was a big football and wrestling guy. Did he did he embrace it really well when you oh, switched? Oh, he didn't really like the <laughs> switching over to hockey part right away. But I mean, he knows how to skate and everything. Yeah. He's been skating in the pond since he was little. Yeah, but he's a Minnesotan, right? Right. Everyone, everyone at least likes hockey. You don't have to love it, but they like it. Right. Um, what was it like? I know, uh, I believe when you were a freshman, you played for Shattuck St. Mary's. Um, what was that experience like? Because there's this like. Um, aura around Shattuck, like it's this where these hockey guys come from. What was it like playing for Shattuck even that one year? Right. I mean, going to that school and playing with you know, some great coaches, you know, John Lafontaine was my my head coach there. Mm -hmm. And, you know, the things you learned that year were just unbelievable. And be able to play with such great guys, I mean, some of those guys are just, I mean, I think some of them are in the NHL or recently drafted. Wow. You know, top scorers for NHL or college teams right now. Yeah. They're doing really well. That's awesome. That's great to hear. It's, there's always that that Shattuck St. Mary's. Oh, it's Shattuck, and, and it's cool to actually meet someone who's been there around there. So, um, you were in Brookings for two years. Um, how does how does the St. Cloud experience you've had compare to the two years you had in Brookings? Uh, I mean, it's a lot closer to home for me. Yeah, it's only an hour drive to go hunting or anything. But yeah. uh, I guess the South Dakota atmosphere is much smaller town. And I mean, it's glad to see we're in a hockey town finally. Yeah. I mean, it's, you go in the con or in the, the town last year in Brookings, and half the team or half the uh, citizens didn't even know that you played hockey. You know, yeah. they're like, "We have a hockey team here." And it's <laughs> crazy to think. And it's like, yeah, I mean, we've been playing the last two years or seven years there, yeah. I think. As so. they have their Jack Rabbit's hat with their Jack Rabbit sweatshirt and their Jack Rabbit sweatpants. Correct. Correct. <laughs> yeah, yeah, that's that's how it goes in Brookings. I think we all know that. Um, uh, obviously, you're liking St. Cloud. Who are your roommates here? Uh, my roommate is Owen Blyle. Okay, Owen. Yep, and that's it. Okay, and uh, you guys get along pretty well then? Yeah, yeah, we got along pretty well last year, and, you know, we didn't pick, you know, we didn't ask the Bill Corner to be together, be together this year, but... Yeah. Turns out we are, and no problem for either of us. Awesome. So. That, that's that's great to hear. Um, what do you like to do other than the hockey? So you've mentioned hunting. You've mentioned um, football. Like, What do you like to do when you're not on the ice skating? Uh, in the fall, if I can get out and shoot some birds or go deer hunting. Hopefully okay. get out this Sunday, actually. Okay, there we go. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Otherwise, in the summer, go to the lake, do some skiing, some fishing. So Awesome. Uh, what's your big, uh, biggest buck of all time? Um, my biggest buck is, oh shoot, um, I think it's just a little four pointer. Four pointer. Yeah. Haven't got a big house. No, I haven't had a big one yet. <laughs> it'll, it'll come this Sunday. Yeah. I'm calling it this Sunday. <laughs> um, are you a, a lot of the, a lot of our team, a lot of gamers. Are you a gamer at all? 
Uh, I do play. Oh, well, what mean, do you play? It gets kind of boring after <laughs> after practice sometimes. <laughs> but I play Fortnite. Okay, yep. Fortnite. Mm-hmm. Like everyone else on the planet. But yep. yeah, it's Fortnite. <laughs> um, who's your favorite hockey player of all time? Uh, favorite hockey player? Oh, uh, current day is probably Shea Weber. Shea Weber, okay. Yeah. I just think the way he shoots the puck and the way he controls the game is just awesome. And the way he controls the power play, too, it, it's amazing. Yeah, he's like he quarterbacks that power play. I mean, yes, he's, he does. he's in charge of that thing. Um, who do you look up to in life, not just in hockey, but in life in general, or who's your hero in another sense? Uh, my parents. Your Definitely parents? my parents. You know, they re- both play college sports, and, you know, they're, they're just on our backs all the time, and they keep pushing us. and to be the best we can be so that's awesome i, I think they'll like that answer <laughs> yeah, yeah well. um who what's your favorite nhl team i'm assuming wild but i'm not gonna i'm not gonna yeah it's the wild it's the I wild mean, yeah i gotta support them always yeah. have but i mean hopefully they can pull it around this year a little bit yeah D- did you go to a lot of games uh when you were younger living in lakeville yes yes we did yeah. i had a buddy a uh, very close friend that had season tickets so we go anytime we could Oh, that's awesome. Yeah, absolutely. It's a fun atmosphere there at the XL. Yes, it is. Uh, what's your favorite hockey moment ever? Favorite hockey moment? Hockey moment. It's got to be Hockey Day Minnesota on uh, the Bayfront Park in Duluth. Wow. That's phenomenal. That, that, sounds, that, that sounds amazing. Yeah. <laughs> that sounds fun. Who'd you play? We played Duluth East. Did you win? Yeah, we won. Uh, I think it was 4-2. Good. Did you get a goal? Uh, no, I did not. <sighs> Gotta get a goal, man. <laughs> um, well, we'll head to now some of the stuff about the recap and the games coming up. We'll first talk about the games last weekend. We lost Friday at home three to nothing um, against the Wilderness. Then we went back for a little revenge game on Saturday. Lost three to two in an overtime, an absolute nail biter. Um, and obviously, uh, going zero two is never is never the plan on a weekend. And getting a point was nice. But you, you want two, you want three, you want four. Um, you, of course, gave our team huge energy and momentum boost with your, I'll call it a fight, because usually a fight involves two people punching and not one person. <laughs> uh, so it may be classified as the fight, maybe not. Um, what was going through your mind before and during after that fight? Well, beforehand, I was just gapping up and, you know, took a guy off a puck, and then I saw the guy coming in after me, and I was like, well, I got to protect myself here. And then he was still kind of stand there so i just dropped them and went after them i guess and yeah <laughs> it worked out and they actually got a instigator uh, yeah. only off of it so yeah. it worked out really nice created a lot of momentum and i was just sitting in the tunnel just hoping we could pop one in on that power play and we didn't get one right in the power play yeah. but we did get one shortly after it yeah so well, that was nice hockey is a game of momentum and i those those fights are some of the things that like be a catalyst to push the team forward in the game. And I, I definitely think there was a cause and effect going on with the late goal and, and that fight for sure. Right. Um, it does, does your mind kind of go blank when you're actually in the fight or is, is the gears turning a little bit or is it just going back to primal instincts? Absolutely. I mean, you just kind of like black out and it's just like, all right, where's this guy's head? Try to hit it. And that's about <laughs> it. That's it. That's, it's very direct, but I mean, what else are you going to do? Right. Right. Yeah. <laughs> right. Um, uh, this has been a, a controversial topic in hockey in general. Um, uh, the fighting questions are going to be coming at you now because it, it happened and it was kind of fun to watch. Um, would you do, do you consider uh, fighting in hockey a lost art or is something that is barbaric and shouldn't be in the game anymore? Because you're seeing NAHL is one of the only places where you can still go fisticuffs, drop them, and you're not suspended for three games. Right. I, I, I do think it's a... It's a lost art. I mean, it plays a big role, especially when there's, you know, momentum needed or momentum lost during the game, and it really could help your team as it did for us. Mm-hmm. And, you know, maybe not like it used to be back in the old days in the NHL where guys just fight and that was it. <laughs> yeah, yeah. But, you know, nowadays it's a lot slender, as you can see. I mean, in the USHL, you barely have any. Yeah. And it's even less than the NHL. Yeah. This is my first year. I think we had I don't know maybe fifteen fights the whole year, and last year I could say maybe five. Okay. So. And Brock Drager's here to change that this season. <laughs> um, is there points we can take from Saturdays? Obviously, 
Uh, some people say that you can take more from a loss than you can from a win. What can we take from Saturday's overtime loss and build off of for this coming week's games? Oh, absolutely. We can build off of it. I mean, we can just work as a team better and uh, lock down our D zone, as Moa said all week. You mm -hmm. know, we need to take care of that D zone big time. And with their big ice, you just got to stay on the inside, play the lanes, and keep on the outside. Yeah. Absolutely. Spoken like a true defenseman. <laughs> um, we'll talk about the upcoming games. We are on the road twice this weekend. Uh, we head out Wednesday night to take on the Clo the Minnesota, I almost said Cloquet Wilderness, the Minnesota Wilderness in Cloquet. And then we start our five game series. It's like the ALCS or whatever here in NAHL country uh, with the Bismarck Bobcats. We'll be on the road Saturday night in Bismarck. Bismarck, I'll, I'll ask you, you play in this division now for a while. I bet you had these type of stretches where you play one team in a row like this. What are the advantages and disadvantages of playing a team five times in a row? Well, the advantages are you know what they're going to do. Yeah. You know, you play them three games in a row, you know what they're doing the fourth and fifth game. Yeah. You know exactly what they're going to do. So you can work on things and lock down key players also, match lines, things like that. But the problem is, is sometimes you get into scrum the first fight, and then it's just an all-out battle the rest of the four games, you know. Yeah, I mean, uh, that has the potential. The first thing that comes to mind is that has the potential to be a, a scrappy two, game number four and five. I mean, Absolutely. when you're battling the same guys over and over again, and they're not your teammates at practice, that, that, can, that can get aggressive. Right. Absolutely. Uh, last thing we always like to ask, uh, what has Coach Momantha's message been during this practice week? Obviously, there's some stuff you can't tell us, some of the stuff you can. What right. has he been talking to you about, screaming at you about uh, this, this week? You know, just keep the guys on the outside. I mean, such a big ice and cloquet there, you know, Olympic size. And, you know, if you push them to the outside, it's low angle shot. It's going to be hard for them to score. Yep. So that's about it. Funnel them outside. Absolutely. We'll head to the part that everyone on the team loves. I hope you love it at home is the player pulled. We'll, uh, we'll go right down the list here. You got to give a little bit of an explanation. No one word answers. Right. Um, who's the biggest ladies man on the team? Biggest ladies man. Uh, even though he's got a girlfriend, let's go with Brady Bjork. <laughs> Bjork. You know, he's always trying to look good and, you know, he's got his hair done. And yeah. <laughs> Ladies, man. All right, that's that's the, that's a whole category of it. Uh, who's the best gamer on the team? Best gamer? I'm gonna have to put my roommate Owen Belisle. Okay, Belisle. Yeah, he kind of carries our squad. Unfortunately, <laughs> yeah, team leader. Uh, who is the most responsible? Who's the team dad? Bud. Yeah. Bud Winters. I don't even know why I made that a category because he's going to run away with it. Bud's Bud's gonna run away with yeah. it. So Bud will get that one. Who's the biggest nerd? Biggest nerd. Uh, he may not be the brightest outside of school, but I think in school it's got to be. Um, think of his name right now. <laughs> uh -oh. Saint Thomas kid. <laughs> oh, Ryan O'Neill. Ryan O'Neill. Oh, that's going to be brought up in court this week. I feel like. Definitely. <laughs> Ryan O'Neill will get biggest nerd. Uh, who's got the best hair on the team? Best hair. Uh, I don't know. I mean, we got. War with the long hair, but it's getting kind of curly sometimes. <laughs> yeah. Maybe Owen. He's kind of oh. got short in the sides and a nice little longer on top. He knows yeah. how to play yeah. with it and make it look good. We'll give it to the Canadian. Yeah, Owen will get that one. Uh, who's got the best style? Best style? Uh, I'm going to have to go with a bud. Yeah. He can pull off everything. I, we've heard rumors that he's, he has a dad hat. Yes, have you he ever does. seen this? He has a dad hat. Yes, he does. I think I'm going to request that when he comes on that he wears the dad hat on, on, on the show. Um, who's the team goon? The fighter, the biggest hitter, who's the team goon? You can vote for yourself if you want to. <laughs> uh, if we say biggest hitter, I think it's me. Definitely me. All right. Yeah, that's, that's absolutely the goon part fits from last weekend. Uh, who's the locker room clown, the biggest goof on the team? I have to go with, uh, I don't know, maybe Luke Aquero. Luke Aquero. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, he's always goofing around, trying to have a good time, you know, pump the guys up a little yeah. bit. Yeah. Who's got the worst taste in music? Worst taste in music. Uh, it's either Kupka. <laughs> it's all over the place. Or Hatcher. 
Hatcher? Yeah. Really? Rock, go with Hatcher. On well, that well, one. What, did, what, is he, what does he play? Oh, he plays some rap stuff that I just don't get along with. <laughs> okay, at all. fair, fair. It's, it's all our own. Um, who's uh, who's got the best shot on the team? Best shot? Ooh, might have to go with. Uh, I have to go with Bud. Honestly, Bud. Bud's got a nice shot. That's what that's what Britt went with last week. He, and that, that's quick the release. goalie, the quick release. Yeah. It, gets, it gets after you. Uh, who's got the best stick handling on the team? Best stick handling. Oh, let's see here. I'm trying to make my way around the room in my mind. <laughs> the locker room? O'Neal. O'Neal's walked me in practice before. He's walked you. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. All right. O'Neal will get that one. That might be a makeup call for the earlier blunder. Uh, who's the fastest skater on the team? Fast skater, ooh, probably Ward. Ward, yeah, He's a speedster. Yeah, oh, yeah. I, I can see that in games. Uh, who's got the best nickname on the team? Best nickname? Uh, I don't know. I just like Yorkie because it's Brady, so like it's easy. <laughs> but yeah, I don't know. The last, the worst one ever, I think, was Kuja Mahara. What? For Cujo. Everybody call him Cujo, but I call him Kuja Mahara. Why? Just because I felt fit better. <laughs> no, okay, good tomorrow. <laughs> okay, well, we'll stick with uh, with uh, York. And I heard there's a new nickname for uh, Bud now. Is What's it uh, Butter? People call him Butter. I've never heard that one. Okay, maybe I'm just making stuff up. Sorry, Bud, but I might be making stuff up. Um, who's the best singer on the team? Best singer. Mm. You got to give Gazich props for what he's saying in front of. Uh, you know what? We might have to go with Gaz. <laughs> he, he does chime in every now and then. Yes. And sometimes it's just like Gaz, what are you doing? Sometimes it's pretty good. Yeah, so. when he got up in front of that whole restaurant from that girls' soccer yeah, team, girls and soccer I was, team. I, w- I would have had a heart attack. So I mean, good for Gaz. Yeah. <laughs> um, who's the biggest trash talker on the team? Trash talker, probably Rocco. Rocco. Gets yeah. under your skin a little bit in practice. Yeah, yeah he's always throwing things around. <laughs> it's like, what are you doing, man? Right. Uh, who's got the cleanest locker? Cleanest locker? Oh, shoot. Might be Brady. Brady. Brady, yeah, he Keeps always. Nice and tight. Nice and tight, yep. Who's got the dirtiest locker? Well, it used to be. Um, we'll, we'll leave out the guys that aren't yeah. there anymore. Yeah, right. Uh, dirtiest locker might have to be. Let's see. Maybe Sandre. Sandre. Oh, I sit right next to him. I just know yeah. this little thing. <laughs> Maybe it's him. Okay. Sandre will get dirtiest locker. And that ends the player pool, and that about wraps up the Blizz show. Uh, thanks for being on with me, Brock. Uh, next week we'll have another Blizzard player on. Don't, don't forget to catch our games on Wednesday night and on Saturday night on Hockey TV. Have a great rest of your day.